Welcome to Canvas Draw 6. This overview video walks you through our welcome file that comes with Draw. You can follow along and you can edit this interactive file. Canvas lets you work with any type of graphic in one application. There's no need to switch between different apps based on the file type. In one place, you can create amazing graphics and visualizations with both images and vector objects. Notice this image on the left is a rasterized image, meaning it's made of pixels. On the right, this is a vector object with sharp edges and adjustable points. The Canvas Draw interface puts tools at your fingertips with settings and functionality to suit your workflow, and we just want to save you time. First, this is the layout area. This is where you create your fantastic graphics and illustrations. We refer to all elements in your document as objects. Our toolbox has all of the draw tools. The menu bar along the top contains all Canvas Draw functions. The toolbar contains common actions like copy paste, print, and turning on the context sensitive Canvas Assistant. The properties bar updates based on what tool you have selected. Also notice, the Canvas Assistant updates as well based on what you have selected to help you along based on what you're doing. Along the bottom is the status bar showing details about the object you have selected and pages of your document. We call all the small windows in Draw Palettes. They're all available in Window Palettes. On the right, this is the docking pane where you can keep frequently used palettes for quick retrieval. Notice, you can tear off any palette you want and keep it in view by dragging it away from the docking pane. You can put away any palette back into the docking pane to bring them back easily. I'll switch to the next page. There are three states for selected objects in Canvas. Right now, nothing is selected. If I click on this circle, it becomes selected. When selected, I can change its properties in the Properties bar. Click somewhere else or press Escape to deselect. If I double click an object, I'm editing that object. You can tell from the pen in the top left. When you're in edit mode, you can modify the object. Double click somewhere else or press escape to go back to your selected state. And again, to deselect completely. Ordering the objects in view is done by selecting your object and clicking shuffle up or shuffle down. Let's watch how this works in the document layout palette. Alignment lets you align your objects as you like. First, I'll click each of these objects while holding Shift to select them all. Alternatively, I could draw a selection rectangle around these three objects. Using alignment tools, I can align them center vertically. I'll undo that. And I can align the center horizontally. Notice all the other alignment options. The orange object I selected first has black indicators on its selection. Notice that. That means all the alignment commands are done with respect to that object. Text in Canvas is very simple. First select the text tool, set some properties, draw a rectangle for your text, and just start typing. You can always select your object and adjust the styling and attributes of your text in the properties bar. Below, spell checking is built in. Just control click or right click on underlined words and choose the correct spelling. Copying and pasting attributes lets you copy the styling you want and choose edit paste attributes to paste that style. I'll copy over the text style and dynamic effect, which is a drop shadow. 
This concept can be applied to any object for copying and pasting any attributes. Next page. This picture on the right has another picture below it. I'll select this top image, change the opacity, and add an adjustment with a higher contrast. Please try this yourself. In the bottom, let's try adjusting the levels of this great portrait to match the one on the right. Select it and choose Image Adjust Levels. This photo doesn't have any pure blacks or pure whites, so let's set the starting black point by dragging this one to the right, and we'll set the white point by dragging this one to the left. To add images to your documents, simply drag and drop them into Canvas, or you can choose File, Import Images, and navigate to your file. Thank you for letting me show you Canvas Draw, and if you need any more information, use the Hyperlink tool, and click these links here. Thanks!